Lucky Ariane on Twitch, and Ari Ivana of Ultros in Final Fantasy XIV, and this is my guide to how to place furniture under the stairs. So as you can see here, this uh, bookshelf is actually clipping through the stairs, which if you're trying to do the placement from this side, um, it won't actually let you place it there. Um, you can't get it to sit down on the floor. You can place it directly against the railing, but you can't actually clip it all the way through. So this is about as close as you can get it from this side, uh, which is not quite the same as we have it on that side. So the trick is that you need to get your character under the stairs. And there's a little bit of a glitch that you have to use to do that to get there the first time, but once you do that, you can place a bed under the stairs. And then if you stand on them and type slash doze, you drop through, and now you're under the stairs. So I'm gonna show you how to get under the stairs in the first place, which requires a little bit of a trick. So we're gonna go upstairs, and we're gonna do it right here. Now, the items that we require are two copies of the five ages, some sort of wall, in this place. In this case I'm using the Glade Partition, uh, you need a Riviera wall shelf, and that is all. You're gonna need a bed as well for below. Now, you can do this against the wall, however, I ran into issues where there's a little bit of a lip up here, and your character's gonna get stuck on that. So, you need to put another wall in front of it just to um, place it a little bit further out from the wall. So we're going to start by placing the Glade Partition and we're going to place the wall shelf on it. And the first thing we need to do is place a Five Ages right on top. Now our goal is that we want to get the stack of books up through the ceiling. So here we can only move it up this high. That's as high as it's going to go. So we're going to actually place it here and I'm going to show you a trick that you can use to get it as high as you need. So if you turn the surface placement on and off, you select it, and then press escape, it detaches it from the, the shelf that it was sitting on. So now we can move the shelf down and the books stay up there. So if we turn it back on, it lets us place these books down, or this bookshelf down here again. And we're gonna place a second set on it right underneath. Um, and actually that's gonna be a little bit too high. So let's move. I didn't detach that again. Move this one down a little bit further. You want enough space between your books for your character uh, to jump slightly. So now they're both attached again if we go to move this bookshelf. So now if we move this up, you can actually, if I stand back a little bit, you can move that bookshelf through the ceiling. So you want that to be around, um, we're gonna try around there. So hopefully this is, that's going to be a little bit too high. We're going to move this up slightly, and then I'm going to go grab a table that's going to help me hit that first one. So we need to detach these now, first of all. So, whoops. Uh, so we want to select that, hit escape. We want to select this one and hit escape. Now we can move that bookshelf out of the way and they stay up there. So we're going to turn that back on so we can place that on a wall out of the way. I'm going to go here and grab... Um, this table. And we're going to bring that over against the wall and I'm going to use that to get up to that first set of books. Uh, so we're going to place that right here. Now if we get out of it, now we have my floating books. We're going to try to jump and hit the bottom corner of these. At some point it grabs you and pulls you up and that's why it's important that you use this particular piece of furniture because it has that weird glitch to it. Now if we jump underneath this set of books, hopefully this will work, um, this can be a little bit finicky. So it looks like we're not quite in the right spot to do this. Uh, it takes a little bit of playing around to get the right the right uh, angle. So if we grab the housing again, we're going to grab this wall shelf. We're going to put it back under here. And these are going to reattach to it uh, if we toggle this on and off. And then we can adjust. So I think this needs to go up a tiny little bit. We're going to try that. Um, and we're going to move, we're going to turn that off again, deselect these, and we're going to move this out of the way again. Let's see if it works now. So you need to jump, it's usually this front corner, that's the right spot, but you got to hit it just the right angle 
for it to pull you up. And then we're going to try to get this one to pull us up. And again, it's not quite the right spot. All right, so we got to try this again. This takes a little bit of working with to get this to work. So again, we're going to stick this under here. We're going to turn this on and off so that these reconnect. And we're going to try pulling it down. I'm going to try pulling it down just a little bit. And let's actually try moving it over so we're a little bit further away from that uh, beam. All right, again, we're going to have to deselect these to move this bookshelf out of the way. And then we can give this another try. So we got pulled up there. Can we get pulled up by this one? There we go. So that's what you want to have happen. And then your character gets outside of your house. So now I can see out. If you're able to jump at this point, then you've done what you need to do. So now the reason why we did this as close to the wall as possible is because we're going to need to jump down the side of the house. So if you make a big jump, you're going to fall. And now I'm kind of in between the walls here. And it's a little bit glitchy. Um, but you gotta like jump and kind of work your way over um, and now I got myself stuck <laughs> so if your character starts making this motion you're stuck and there's not anything you can do but return to the front e entrance so move to front door we're gonna have to try this one more time but now that we have the book set up properly it's gonna go a lot faster so we just need to run upstairs and we're gonna try to get oh we did that nice and quick let me get this one again. There we go. All right, I'm gonna do a big jump over into this corner and hopefully we won't get stuck this time. And we got stuck again. <laughs> this didn't happen to me when I was doing it yesterday. All right, let's go back to the front of the house. Uh, move to front door. Maybe I need to stop jumping. All right, let's try this one more time. Hopefully this will work. Whoops, put my head on the ceiling. We're gonna jump here, get pulled up. We're gonna jump again. Hopefully it'll pull us up. There we go. And we're gonna jump over here so we fall between the walls. And we're gonna run over here. Yeah, jumping was the problem. So I have actually, oops. I actually have a bookshelf there. We should be able to just jump through it. Um, there we go. So if, that, if it's the first time you're under there, you won't have the bookshelf there. That'll be a little bit easier. And then at this point, you're going to want to have a bed on you so that you can place it under the stairs just like this. And then you'll, you can remove all the stuff you have upstairs so no one has any idea how you got down here. And then once we're down here, um, we're going to grab this bookshelf. And now we can move it in here and we can actually place it inside the stairs. So we're going to stick it right about, <laughs> where are we sticking it? Right here. And uh, we actually want to move it over so it lines up with the other side. And we want it as far back as we can get. And this might not line up perfectly out here, but uh, that's going to be where you want it to go. And then you can see that it clips through the stairs the way it does on the other side. So that is how you set up that furniture. Uh, you can use this trick to like make a little cubby hole under your stairs, or you can use it like here to make stuff clip through them so they stick out the other side. Uh, you can use it to do all sorts of cool things. And then you can always trick people by telling them to stand on your stairs and type slash doze, and then it pulls you under. So that is my guide for how you get under the stairs. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun placing furniture under your stairs. Thanks for watching.